and welcome to this week's Illinois Wesleyan Titan Coaches Show. I'm Eric Stock, joined by Kyle Scholes, the head men's soccer coach at Illinois Wesleyan. Coach, it's good to have you. Good to be back, Eric. Thank you. Now you get your first uh, win this past week, uh, to be defeating Dubuque on Saturday. First, let's take a look back at the game against Benedictine, a, a tough uh, one nothing defeat. Yeah, uh, you know, I, th I think each game we've been playing better and better uh, as the season's gone on. We started off with uh, four teams that had been in the NCAA tournament last year. We, s we sort of got our feet underneath us. We started playing better. We got some guys back from injury. Uh, and really, both Wednesday and, and Saturday this past week, I thought we played very well. Uh, Could have gotten the result on Wednesday, just couldn't find the back of the net. Uh, and then on Saturday, uh, I think the floodgates really opened and, and we had three goals in the first half there. So that was really good for us. So you were able to find the back of the net there. So the success or the work early in the season starting to pay off, you feel? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we've still got a bit of the injury bug. It seems like each time we get a guy back, then someone else gets hurt. Uh, so we're, we're really fighting that off. But uh, it's just next man up mentality. and. Our guys have done a really good job. The, the guys who have stepped up in those positions have played really well and, and uh, allowed a, us to use our depth um, continually through this. A special night for a couple of reasons in that uh, match against uh, Dubuque. That was a uh, lace up for pediatric uh, cancer night. Uh, players in gold shoelaces as a part of this effort. And, and if you could explain what, what you feel that means and what that represents and how the soccer team was able to help. Yeah, it's just a, a, a fundraiser um, for the Lace Up for Pediatric Cancer uh, Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization. Uh, and basically just the sale of, of the, uh, the laces themselves, everything goes towards uh, helping families and, and uh, um, pediatric cancer programs at hospitals as well. So just a little something that we can do um, for with our program and our guys are, are proud to where the laces, I'm still wearing them now. I think most of our guys still have them in their cleats as well. And it was uh, named after a, a young man who had uh, Ewing's sarcoma, a rare bone cancer, and he lost his uh, battle just uh, shy of his 15th birthday. So mm -hmm. it's great to see that uh, program is helping to, helping to support that cause in any way it can. Absolutely. So if you look ahead next week, uh, Monmouth coming up on Thursday, and then uh, Wash U this weekend, uh, both on the road. Yeah, it's good to uh, good to be back on the road. Sort of a more of a business mentality when we when we get to hop on the bus. Uh, Monmouth is one that that we actually drew last year, so a lot of the returning guys uh, had actually circled that one um, on the on the schedule early on this year because we felt like we deserved the result. So they'll be di they'll be ready to play for that one. And then Wash U is always a very good game. Another UAA opponent, a uh, team that's been in the NCAA tournament pretty much every year. Um, and that's an exciting one to go down to Francis Field and play them. After that, you come back home. You have a three in a row against uh, Fontbonne, Greenville, and Webster, the last three before conference play begins. Yeah, those are, are really, uh, you know, we see as tune-ups uh, for our guys as individuals to fine-tune things, but also for us as a team to make sure that we're on the same page defensively uh, and offensively to, to uh, be ready to go when CCIW play starts. Well, congratulations on the first win, Coach, and the best of luck this week. Awesome. Thank you.